Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a September budget for 2019. Let's talk a little bit about myself for just a second. I know there are always new people that come along on this video. I am a decorative planner. Hi, my name is Emily. I live in Minnesota in the Twin Cities. I'm single, no kids, no partner, but I do have a dog. And we're actually gonna talk about him today because we are gonna be putting in some stuff for him in my budget. I know sometimes you guys are like, what happens to Doyle in your budget? Budgets. Well, we're gonna talk about it in just a moment. So my budgets relatively look very similar from month to month. Most things don't change. However, I do have a few little extras this month that I will chat about as well. If you guys are wondering, I am using a Erin Condren binder system this year. And I am using, here's my current week right here. Um, I use the hourly version that just works really well for me. And I also have it in the colorful. So I will link Erin Condren down below if you guys are interested. And um, yeah, so I'm filming stuff today. That's that's my plan. So this washi, I always get questions on where my stickers and stuff are from. This washi, I actually, I'm pretty sure got from Michael's quite a while ago. And then um, this little piggy bank sticker. And then these are from a Coffee Break Planner. And then I have this little like money one. And then these are from Mrs. Grossman's. I actually have them over here because I'm gonna use them again. Um, I got them in like a sticker pack a long time ago, but love them clearly. And then I'm gonna be using some pet med stickers from Plan to Plan a Sticker Co, which is one of the things for Doyle this month or this upcoming month, I should say. And then these two little guys are like a shopping bag and then also a house icon also from Coffee Break Planner. And I do have a 20% off Coffee Break Planner discount code below if y'all are interested. So anyway, let's get to the actual budget. I'm gonna speed this up because it just takes quite a while um, and lay some fun music over it or some sad music or happy music or I don't know, neutral music right over it. And then I will see you guys when I'm done and then I'll explain all my categories and prices and all that good stuff. So I'll see you guys in just a second. done with my budget. I always feel like it takes way longer than it does, but you know, you guys only got to see that for just a couple of seconds. So let's break it down. So my household category includes my mortgage, which is 46709. If you guys are wondering why my mortgage is so small, I will link up in the card. I believe it goes right there. My mortgage details, I did put half down on my house. So that's why it's so small. Um, my HOA, I do live in an association and that's 158. Um, my gas bill is usually about $45. That's just an estimate. Um, Culligan, I do talk about this every single budget, I feel like, but my area has really bad hard water. So I do have a Culligan water softening unit that I rent. However, um, Culligan comes a couple of times a year and they actually just did. So on my next bill, it's usually double. So it's about $30 for the service for them to like come in and assess your unit, make sure everything's working properly and all of that good stuff. So it's gonna be about 60, it might be a little bit more than that, but um, I don't anticipate being it more than like $70. So anyways, um, and then my electric was a little bit higher this past month that I estimated for, so I'm bumping that up to 90 and as an estimate, clearly. Uh, my garbage is $17.85 a month, and then my water is typically the same, but it is an estimate of $55. My auto insurance is $95.08, which funny thing about the auto insurance, I just had some hail damage on my car and I got an estimate and basically the value of my vehicle is right around the same amount of the hail damage estimate. So 
on paper, my car is totaled now. So um, I believe that my auto insurance, I won't be doing full coverage any longer as of like October. So that will probably end up going down. So I'm probably just gonna do like a liability or something. I'll talk with my insurance agent about it. Um, but yeah, so I got a bunch of hail damage and my car just looks like it has freckles now. So um, it's just body damage, the car is running great, everything's fine with it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna keep it. Because <laughs> uh, I had the option to keep it um, and then I also had the option to turn it in and then get like a higher amount of, you know, the totaled value. So anyway, I decided to keep it because it's running great and I've had it for a really long time and it works, so whatever. Um, as for my Netflix, it's $13.95, so that brings us a grand total of $1,001.95. As for my cash categories, um, my groceries about $2.50, dining is $1.50. I had it a little higher last month um, just because I was going to Niagara Falls, so I knew I was going to be spending a little bit more money on the like out-to-eat stuff. My fuel is about the same at $1.80, so that brings my cash categories to about $5.80. And then my extras down here, um, Doyle's medication is about $70. It does fluctuate a lot because it's just one of those medications that kind of goes up and goes down and goes up and goes down. So I never really know. Um, Doyle's food is about $60. I only have to buy that every once in a great while because I tend to get the biggest bag possible. And then I am going to a grilled cheese festival um, later on in the month. And I believe the tickets for that are about $45. It does include um, some alcohol and does include actually some grilled cheese. So I'm very excited about that. And those are that's $175 total. So my total for September is $1,756.97. So that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and listening to me ramble on all about my budget. Oh. Before I go, um, I know I always get questions about this. I have my own business, so my Wi-Fi and my cell phone are fully paid through my business. So I always get questions about that because clearly it's not in my household budget because I pay for it in a different way. But just wanted to put that out there because I know I'm gonna get questions. <laughs> so anyway, now I'm finally done. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you have any questions, make sure to put them down below. Feel free to thumbs up the video if you liked it and then also subscribe. You should really do that because I put new content out every once in a while. I don't really have a specific schedule because I work a full-time job. So if you want to see me in your newsfeed, make sure to hit that red subscribe button. And if you want to see more of me, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm on Instagram quite a bit. So um, I will put that link down below for you guys. So I'm going to jet. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool.